Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, says the House will recommend special fund for the protection of schools across the country as a way to address the increased attack on schools. The Speaker made this pledge while addressing members of the House of Representatives on resumption at plenary after over six weeks' break. He also acknowledged the recent feats recorded by security forces in some parts of the country, especially in Bornu and Katsina states, where many terrorists and bandits were neutralized and weapons discovered or recovered. He said the House will continue to support their effort and ensure that the lives and livelihoods of all Nigerians are protected from any internal and external threat, while appealing to security agencies to leave no stone unturned to bring the perpetrators to justice. We are very thankfully aware of the harrowing attacks that have specifically targeted our schools, where innocent children, especially girls, are abducted. Schools, which should be sanctuaries of line and safety, have become targets for terrorists and kidnappers. These acts are not only heinous, but are direct attacks on the future of Nigeria and rob children of their right to education and secure childhood. The implication of these assaults stretch far beyond the immediate pain and disruption they cause. They so fear in communities, discourage school attendance, and potentially stifle the education of a generation. We must not allow the ambitions of our children to be thwarted by fear. The House stands united with the armed forces and will advocate for comprehensive strategies to safeguard our schools. This involves not only physical security measures such as fencing, security personnel, and surveillance uh, technologies, but also community-based strategies that involve local leaders in our security framework. On the economy, the speaker says the government has made significant strides towards improving the economy, adding that in the past months, the government has implemented several measures to stabilize the economy, enhance productivity, and boost investor confidence. Only recently, honorable colleagues, the government commenced the implementation of temporary cash transfers to 50 million households. The release of grains seeds and fertilizer by the government has contributed to improving food security. Although the price of food items remains high, a better harvest in the, in the first half of the year is expected to contribute to a positive economic outlook as GDP growth for 2024 is projected to reach 3.2%.